What's up Minecrafters, Koala here. In this video, I'll be going over five secrets you didn't know about the Hives Replay Cinema. Now, let's get straight into today's video. Number one, cosmetics. When you purchase the Replay Pass, you get access to a variety of cosmetics. There's the Replay Raccoon costume, it's rewind time and lights camera action hub titles and finally action a really cool looking avatar these are all epic and considering the replay pass is only 830 mine coins i think it's worth it overall number two replay hub this is actually a really overlooked location on the hype and it contains some pretty cool secrets first there are custom models everywhere from cameras to donuts and there's even a green screen, which can be super helpful for making YouTube videos. Finally, there are several pineapples scattered throughout the replay hub, which I think might be a reference to Spongebob. Number 3. Game Modes Originally, the replay cinema only worked for the three PvP game modes, Sky Wars, Treasure Wars and Survival Games. But the Hive has recently changed this, so now the Replay Cinema works for every single game mode, even Murder Mystery and Hide and Seek. Number 4. Saved Replays When the Replay Cinema was first released, there was a glitch, where if a game finished because the timer ran out, then the replay wouldn't save. Thankfully, the Hive have changed this in a recent update, so now every single game will have a saved replay. And finally, number 5. Survival Games Did you know that there are actually two parts to a survival games replay? The first part consists of the main game, while the second part gives you access to the final fight in the arena. This is really cool, and I only just found this out the other day. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, remember to like, subscribe and join my Discord, link in the description. I'll see you in my next video, goodbye.